and you can see here you have challengers, leaders, niche players and visionaries. Hey guys, my name is Ali and I'm a data analytics manager working in Austin, Norway. In this video, we're gonna look at a report which is given out every year by a company called Gartner and that is the Magic Quadrant. And we're gonna focus on two areas and that is the Magic Quadrant for data analytics and business intelligence platforms and the Magic Quadrant for data science and machine learning platforms. First, we will look at what are the different categories and then we will look at what do the two different reports actually measure within the different areas, what do they measure within the data analytics and business intelligence platform side and on the data science and machine learning side. So the different categories that a vendor can be placed in, it's either leader, visionary, niche player, or a challenger. And I'm just gonna read this for you guys and then we will look at the actual reports. So the first one is leaders execute well against their current vision and are well positioned for tomorrow. So this is the one that you wanna end up in and that is the upper right one. Then we have visionaries, they understand where the market is going or have a vision for changing market rules, but do not execute well. Niche players focus successfully on a small segment or are unfocused and do not out-innovate or outperform others. Challengers, they execute well today or may dominate, at, uh, dominate a large segment, but do not demonstrate an understanding of market direction. So these are the four different boxes a vendor can be placed in. So the first one we will look at is the magic quadrant for analytics and business intelligence platforms. So I'm not gonna read the entire market definition and description, you guys can go and do that if you want to later. I will link to all of these uh, reports in the, in the description, but we can just quickly look at what is it that it is actually looking at. And it says 12 critical capabilities Security, manageability, cloud analytics, data source connectivity, data preparation, catalog, automated insights, data visualization, data storytelling, natural language query, and then we have natural language generation and also reporting. So this is what the report, the, the quadrant looks like this year. And like I said, we had four different, uh, the four different categories and you can see here you have challengers, leaders, niche players and visionaries. And really, the, the software that you guys have probably heard most about in, in BI and analysis, you know, you got Power BI, which is Microsoft, Tableau, which is uh, Salesforce, Click, which is Click, and then you have a bunch of other ones. You have SAP, you have SaaS, Oracle, ThoughtSpot, um, Google, which has Looker. There's a lot of different vendors here. What is good for you guys though is that if you guys just want to kind of see, you know, how have the vendors been doing this year and this is a report which is used quite a lot by a lot of people in the industry. When I used to work in consulting, I remember this would come out and the different vendors would brag about being in the, the leader the leader category. So it is actually quite a big deal for a lot of these vendors. From your perspective, it's also nice to see, you know, which which uh, vendors could be good to focus on or, or pay attention to. Or just if you as you are part of a community, it's just nice to see how our different vendors moving around. So then as you see when you scroll down, you can see the different the different vendors and then they talk a little bit about their strengths and cautions. So if you're curious about one of the vendors, you can go and look at that here also. If you look at Microsoft, since that is the, the leader, let's look at what they have just mentioned that strengths. You know, alignment with Office 365 and Teams. So it's very well integrated with Office 365, which means there's a huge potential, a huge audience. Price power combination, they got a good thing there. Scope of prediction, uh, product ambition, also A+. Plus. And then there are some cautions, you know, as you only, um, it says content promotion and publication process. So I guess that's something about the actual process of publication. And then some functional gaps uh, in on-premise version. But overall, you know, Microsoft is the one that is considered the leader and I only think Power BI is just going to get bigger and bigger because it has such a strong integration with Office and, uh, and Microsoft. You can go in if you're looking for a specific vendor or you're curious about a specific vendor and you want to see um, what, what Gartner said about them this year, it's, it's interesting to just go in and look. And I, I, and I usually take a look just to keep an eye out on the market. but but especially the ones that ends up in the leaders or if someone falls out. So this is the one for um, analytics and business intelligence platforms. And then we have another one, which is the one that looks at data science and machine learning platforms. And I know a lot of you guys focus on Python and, and these kind of softwares, but there's a lot of stuff happening in this area. So there might be some learning platforms or some vendor platform there that you might want to be interested in looking into. So here you can see what does this focus on? Um, data ingesting, preparation, exploration, future engineering, model creation and training, testing, deployment, mon mon monitoring, maintenance, data and model governance, explainable, artificial intelligence, business value tracking and collaboration. So here you can see once again there are quite a few different uh, vendors that are in the leaders and if you, you know, you're interested in looking at data science and machine learning from a vendor perspective, you want to focus on one vendor that actually that actually provides this, 
because I bet all of these vendors will allow you to be able to use Python code, but, but uh, these might be uh, vendors that are easier to use in a bigger enterprise context than Python um, by itself. Um, and this also might be interesting to take a look at. And once again, if you are qu curious about some of these vendors, you can scroll down and you can read about what are the strengths and what are the cautions. Um, either if you are you know, looking at uh, specializing in a software, you might be looking at a course which is from one of these vendors. Um, there can be a lot of different use cases, but it is a good way to kind of get a feel for the industry and how are things moving and it comes out once a year. So that is a report which I wanted to share with you guys as you guys are becoming part of the industry or if you are already part of the industry, it's nice to know about how are the different vendors moving around within these different categories. I showed you guys two of them, which is analytics and business intelligence platforms and data science and machine learning platforms, but they also have the same type of report for a lot of different areas. It is a nice way to just pay attention to what are happening to the different vendors, who are up and coming and how are things moving around. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.